There's a story about a man that bought a crappy old houseboat to fix her up. Here it is. If you're wondering, hey, why houseboat? That's an excellent question, actually. Here's the answer. The answer is because uh, it's convenient uh, to where I need to be living right now, and it's comfortable, but yet I'm still on the water. Would I like to be on the sailboat sailing the oceans? Yes, yes I would. But right now, that's just not in the cards. So we will uh, we'll fix up this houseboat and have a wonderful house on the water. Hey, believe it or not, we are in the houseboat. The uh, ceilings, I'm going to do a, uh, a shiplap type deal on that one. I will be using uh, regular paneling. Uh, actually, the, uh, the underlayment is really thin. And I'll show you later about that. And also I have a uh, cedar here. The cedar is going to go on the wall. Uh, I will have a wainscoting on the bottom, cedar on the top, give it that rustic cottagey look. And that's where I'm going with that right now. The deal of it is, as you can see, I have blocked my entire entrance to the bedroom and bathroom. So I have no idea where I'm cutting or sawing or doing anything. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm also filming this on my phone because I forgot my camera today. So, uh, it may or may not be a better shot, so we'll see about that. We'll get started and we'll show you the next project in a second. One thing I realize is it truly is one step back before you can take two steps forward. And organization is the key. And as you can tell, I'm not all at all organized right now. I'm in the kitchen area right now. And this place is a mess. The problem of it is, is that every time I try to do something, I can't remember where I put something. And it's almost impossible to find. That wood is not rot. No, that wood looks like it. It is solid. I have hand grinded every piece of rotten out of it. See, just no organization. So this afternoon, I'm going to take a time, oh, yeah, I'm going to take time today and organize my workspace and see if it gets a little bit better. Hi there. All right. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Do a little bit there. Hi there. So, I know what you're thinking. You're jumping the gun. Your kitchen's not even assembled and you're opening up the uh, microwave. The reason I'm doing it is so can I, I can get an exact measurement even though uh, the box says it, but still. And plus, I'm kind of excited to see what's in here and how it looks. So what this is, is it's a microwave, but it's also supposed to be an air fryer, as well as a, uh, basically a toaster oven or convection oven. Now, what is a, what is an air fryer? Basically, an air fryer is a really hot, toaster oven with a better fan. So essentially it is a small convection oven. That's what an air fryer is. To my knowledge, I could be wrong. If so, I'm sure you're going to leave something in the comments. I encourage you. Alright. We're going to go ahead and open this up. Shockingly enough, it is styrofoam. I know. Okay, gently place this somewhere. All right, got that taken care of. Why do I feel like I'm going to drop this? Okay. I've got really big hands. Okay. What does that mean? Really big gloves. All right. I love is in the word gloves. 
Okay, with that said, all right. Not too shabby. I like it. Okay. Pull that out there. Mm -hmm. Get this off of here. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Yes. A whole bunch of crap in plastic and styrofoam. I know. Okay. Pretty small. That's kind of what I was looking for. Something small, uh, but powerful. Just like these boys. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that and see if I'm going to keep the horrible refrigerator that came in the house club or uh, replace it with a less than horrible one. Either way, that's the air fryer slash convection oven slash uh, microwave. And the real reason I got that is so I can bake or whatever uh, without heating up the whole place and so I could just get a uh, uh, a drop-in four-burner propane range. Hey there, this is exciting, and the reason it is, is because I have the sink today, and it's pretty awesome, we'll see, we'll get, we'll, we'll get to cutting on it right away, alright, now I also have the faucet in, but I'll be honest, I'm new at this YouTube package opening thing, so I went ahead and opened it, it's fabulous by the way. All right. Now, the countertop is probably temporary because it's one that was in a tiny house that I had before that was converted back into a shed. And so I just took it for now. Well, I took a period. But I don't know that it's really something that I'll be happy with. So. Okay. I'm so good at this. Not at all. Alright. This is the grate. It'll be great. I couldn't help myself. Sorry about that last one. Okay. Okay. This template, I'll need that. I 
I've been looking at sinks like this for a long time, even when I was doing the tiny house thing. And even actually when I had my sailboat, uh, I had thought about something like this. But to be honest, I'm cheap. And but if I'm gonna be in a houseboat, I figure it's gonna be nice. So what I'm probably going to end up doing for the countertop is I'm going to end up making it. I'm going to be using a lot of cedar and gray, so I'll probably make it out of wood and make it look cedar. Now this is not going to fit because this was for another sink. But look at that. Isn't that nice? All right. Here's the grate goes in there right there. All right. You got your rinsing rack right there. And check out this bad boy. All right. You got that right there. We're in business. I don't know about you, but I think we're in business. All right. Extra points if you know the impersonation that I was trying to do. Just leave it in the comments. With all the you don't know what you're doing stuff that you're going to say. All right. If you're wondering, hey, why houseboat? That's an excellent question, actually. Here's the answer. The answer is because uh, it's convenient. Uh, to where I need to be living right now and it's comfortable but yet I'm still on the water. Would I like to be on the sailboat sailing the oceans? Yes, yes I would. But right now that's just not in the cards. So we will uh, we'll fix up this houseboat and have a wonderful house on the water.